Hello there, Leo here, and welcome to Listen uh, Facebook Marketing for Real Estate Agents Part 2, and we are on Lesson 2. I'm excited that you guys are here, uh, made it this far. If you are here, um, I want to congratulate you uh, for basically sticking in there, right? Continue pushing through all these lessons that hope are giving you value. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna to be uh, reviewing, verifying, and troubleshooting your pixel. Okay. So so far we already uh, on this on on um, part two we already um, review an introduction to the Facebook pixel right on lesson one. So go back and uh, rewatch this on the other uh, on the modules on inside the members area, or you can go back in my YouTube channels and and, and look it up right. Uh, my YouTube channel and look it up, right? We saw how um, how the pixel works, how to install it on your website. Um, and so today we're gonna be talking about verifying and troubleshooting the pixel. So the first thing we're gonna go over is that if you want to verify if a pixel is working, one of the things you need to do is visit your uh, ads manager or business manager, and then uh, you will find right under this little hamburger settings um, and then all tools you will find the pixels option so if you go there you will be able to uh, ensure if there's an activity at all okay so for example i have this uh pixels over here uh, because i have a business manager there are multiple uh, ads account that i have set up so obviously there are multiple activities you see over here, but this is one way to uh, check on it, right? When I go to the little settings over here and then all tools and then pixels, depending on how many accounts you have, um, it will bring up that options. And as you can see there, this activity, uh, you can see it's green. You can see that when it was the last uh, time that somebody visited that specific uh, website whenever you have your pixel install or that specific page. So that's one way of verifying if the pixel, pixel is working, right? It's green and it tells you activity. Obviously, if, if nobody visited your website in a while, obviously that activity may be uh, not showing up or um, there will be no activity, right? Um, but one way you can um, ensure that is actually you, you going to your website, okay? So let's say I want to go to my website, Traffic Factory for Realtors at Club. Um, that's one check you can do yourself, right? You visit your website after you install it and you can go back to our, our previous lessons to see how is it, is it installed. And then that will fire up the pixel um, to see if there's an activity. So if we go back over here, it should populate to say recently, uh, this is the pixel I'm using. See, the last received in the last minute because I just visited my website, okay? Um, all right, so let's go ahead, let's continue here. So that's how you can uh, verify if the pixel is installed, right? You you, ver you visit your ad manager, your business manager, and then you can see the activity and, and it's showing in green. If you do not see that, one thing you can do to easily fix that is visit your own website to uh, send activity to Facebook. And if it's still not working, then you have to troubleshoot at that point, okay? Uh, one thing that can help you troubleshoot is, um, installing something called the Facebook Pixel Helper. However, this little um, tool is free, but it, it needs, you need to be using the Chrome browser. Okay, if you do not have Chrome, you can just go to your browser, whatever you're using, Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, um, anything, and you can just Google Chrome, right? This is a browser made by Google is the browser that most Android phones have because they're, they're made by Google. And so you can just basically Google it and find the options, download it. Once you download it, what you can, when, what you can do is Google Facebook Pixel Helper. Once, that's one way to do it. Um, it should come up, see, it, it comes up to the web store and it takes you there to install it. Um, Obviously, I already have it, so I don't need to add it. Uh, other way you can do is basically going to the web store. So 
uh, to the Chrome App Store. So you can get there um, from here. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's under setting. But no matter, just disregard that. Google it, okay? I think that's the easiest way to find it. And then once you Google it, it will come up that extension uh, for Facebook Pixel Helper. So how is that gonna help you? If you notice over here, I got this little icon, Facebook Pixel Helper, and because I have properly installed my Pixel, it's gonna fire up whenever uh, somebody visits the Pixel, or even if you visit the Pixel, uh, or if you visit your website, it's gonna fire up, and so that will tell you that uh, it is working, okay? Uh, because I have it installed, and I have the Facebook Pixel install as Helper install, is it, I'm able to see if it's actually working because it's fire up, it fire up, and uh, it, there's some activity because obviously I'm in it. Okay, so that's one way you can uh, verify and help you troubleshoot. Uh, if for some reason this is not working, it will show up red, or it will say there was no activity at all, um, and so that's when you can then take uh, actions. Like if if it says there's no activity, obviously probably more likely it's not properly installed. Other thing you wanna do is um, it tells you your Pixel ID um, up in the area there. So that's one thing you wanna verify that it's actually your Pixel ID that is being uh, used whenever you are um, using Pic Facebook Pixel Helper to help you verify the Pixel if it's working. All right, so this that's uh, it for today. Um, then we can continue the next lesson to talk about um, traffic website custom audiences on lesson three and get into a little bit of more remarketing and retargeting. But um, looking forward to see you on the next lesson. Bye.